Many of the terms used in Wikipedia glossaries are already defined and explained within Wikipedia itself. However, lists like the following indicate where new articles need to be written and are also useful for looking up and comparing large numbers of terms. Together, terms relating to plant morphology are included here as well as a glossary of plant morphology. See also list of Latin and Greek words commonly used in systematic names. This glossary is incomplete, you can help by expanding it. You can also help by adding illustrations that assist an understanding of the terms. A, abate prefix meaning from, away from, or outside of. Abaxial the surface of an organ facing away from the axis, e.g., the lower surface of a lateral organ such as a leaf or petal. Abort to abandon development of a structure or organ. Abscission shedding of an organ that is mature or aged, e.g., a ripe fruit or an old leaf. Abscission zone a specialized layer of tissue formed, for example, at the base of a petiole or pedicel that allows the organ to be shed by abscission when it is ripe or senescent. Acorlescent an adjective descriptive of a plant that has no apparent stem, or at least none visible above ground. Examples include some species of agave, oxala senatale. A crescent increasing in size with age, such as a calyx that continues to grow after the corolla has fallen, for example in Physalis peruviana. ACI the suffix added to the stem of a generic name to form the name of a family. A keen a dry one seeded in dehiscent fruit, e.g., in the genus Ranunculus, acicula slender or needle shaped. See leaf shape, acropetal moving from roots to leaves, e.g., of molecular signals in plants, acrophyll the regular leaves of a mature plant, produced above a base, usually in contrast to bathophyll, acrostichoid covering the entire abaxial surface of the frond, usually densely so, as in elephaglossum and acrostichum, actin a rate prefix that indicates a radial form. Actinodromous palmate or radially arranged venation with three or more primary veins arising from at or near the base of the leaf, the primary veins reaching the margin or not. Actinomorphic regular, radially symmetrical, may be bisected into similar halves in at least two planes. Applies e.g., to stellus and flowers in which the perianth segments within each whorl are alike in size and shape. Compare regular, contrast with asymmetrical, irregular, zygomorphic, aculeate armed with prickles, e.g., the stem of a rose, acuminate tapering gradually to a point. Acute sharply pointed, converging edges making an angle of less than 90 degrees. Compare obtuse. Add a, prefix meaning near or towards, also meaning added to, adaxial the surface of an organ facing towards the axis, e.g., the upper surface of a lateral organ such as a leaf or petal, add nit grown or fused to an organ of a different kind, especially along the margin, e.g., a stamen, fused to a petal, cf., conate. Adventitious a structure produced in an abnormal position, e.g., an adventitious bud produced from a stem rather than from the axil of a leaf. Adventive introduced accidentally. Aerial of the air, growing or born above the surface of the ground. Estivation the arrangement of sepals and petals or their lobes in an unexpanded flower bud, cf. Venation, the arrangement of leaves in a bud, AFF, with affinity to others, akin to, often used for a provisionally recognized but unnamed taxon considered close to that name, perhaps a hybrid or extreme variant. Aggregate fruit a cluster of fruits formed from the free carpels of one flower, e.g., blackberry, cf., multiple fruit, agricultural weed seaweed, allet having a wing or wings. Albumen an older name for the endosperm of flowering plants. Except for being a storage tissue for nutrients, it is not at all like the albumen of animals. Albuminous containing endosperm. Ale suffix to the stem of a generic name or descriptive name to indicate that it applies to a taxon of the rank of order. Alien a plant introduced to an area outside its natural range. 
alkaloid molecule with a nitrogenous base, many used as drugs, e.g., morphine, quinine, strychnine, alternate leaves or flowers born singly at different levels along a stem include spiraled parts, or when something occurs between something else. For example stamens alternating with petals, compare opposite. Amphitropus when the ovule is bent so that both ends are near each other, cf. Anatropus, Campylotropus, Orthotropus. Amplexical with the base dilated and clasping the stem, usually of leaves. Anastomosing when veins are joined by cross veins to form a network. Anatropus when an ovule is inverted so that the micropoly faces the placenta, cf. Amphitropus, Campylotropus, Orthotropus, Androdioecious of plants, having bisexual flowers and male flowers on separate individuals, cf. Andromonoecious, Polygamodioecious, Polygamomonoecious, Polygamous, Andromonoecious of a species, with bisexual flowers and male flowers on the same plant, cf. Gynomonoecious androsium male parts of flower, the stamens of a flower collectively, cf. Gynoecium, abbreviation, a, for instance a3 plus 3 indicates six stamens in two worlds, androgena for a stalk bearing both the androsium and gynoecium of a flower above the level of insertion of the perianth, androgenous with male and female flowers in the same inflorescence. Andromonoecious having bisexual and male flowers on the same individual, cf. Andromonoecious, polygamodioecious, polygamomonoecious, polygamous. Anemophily pollination by wind. Angiosperms flowering plants, plants with developing seeds enclosed in an ovary. An isomery the condition of having a floral whorl with a different number of parts from the other floral whorls. An isotomic branching with branches having unequal diameters, such as a trunk and its branch, compared to isotomic. Annual A plant that completes its life cycle and dies within one year. Anastomosi branching then rejoining. Anterior positioned in front of towards the apex. Distal. Anthropollen bearing part of the stamen. Anthesis 1. The period during which pollen is presented and or the stigma is receptive. 2. The period during which flowers in anthesis are present. Note. Not defined for some cases, such as when pollen is released in the bud. Anticlinal pointing up away from or perpendicular to a surface, cf. Periclinal. Antral directed towards or upwards, e.g., of hairs on a stem, cf. Retras. Apatalis without petals. Apex the tip, the point furthest from the point of attachment. Aflabia imperfect or irregular leaf endings commonly found on ferns and fossils of ferns from the Carboniferous period. Apiculate terminating in a short sharp flexible point, less abrupt than mucronate. Apophily a form of pollination whereby pollen is distributed by honey bees. Apo a prefix meaning away from, separate, without. Apocarpus of a gynoecium consisting with one or more carpels which are free from one another, e.g., ranunculaceae, delineaceae, apomyxish reproduction, where viable seed or spores are produced without fertilization. A plant produced in this way is an apomict. Apomorphia, different form from the form of an ancestor, i.e., an innovation of use in determining membership in a clade. Appendage a secondary part attached to the main structure, an external growth that seldom has any obvious function. A pressed press closely, but not fused, e.g., leaves against a stem. Aquatic plants whose natural habitat is water, living in or on water for all or a substantial part of the organism's lifespan, generally restricted to fresh or inland waters. Arachnoid cobwebby, from being covered with fine white hairs. Arborescent tree-like in growth or general appearance. Arboretum a taxonomically arranged collection of trees. Archaeophyte a non-native plant that has been present in a geographic area for some time. Cf. Neophyte. 
areolate having areoles being composed of areoles, as an areolate crustose like an areole space between the threads of a net, e.g., that part of a leaf surface defined by each of the elements of a vein network, as with cacti, the area between the veinlets of a leaf or the region of a cactus bearing the flowers and or spines. In lichenology, an areole is a polygonal piece of a thallus surface when a crustose lichen it broken up like old dried and cracked paint, or like the polygonal islands of dried mud in a dry lake bed. A-R-I-L, a membranous or fleshy appendage which partly or wholly covers a seed, e.g., the fleshy outer layer of lychee fruit and is found in Sapindaceae, aristate with a stiff, bristle-like horn or tip, article a segment of a jointed stem or of a fruit with constrictions between the seeds, an organ part that separates easily from the rest of the organ at a joint or articulation, articulate jointed, separating freely, leaving a clean scar, for example the fronds of certain ferns where they join the rhizome, ascending spreading horizontally, then becoming erect, ascocarp the fruiting body of an ascomycete fungus, ascomycete a member of the ascomycota, ascomycota a division or phylum of fungi commonly called sac fungi. It is separated from the division Basidiomycota asexual reproduction reproduction that does not involve gametes, i.e., vegetative reproduction, asymmetrical irregular, unequal, lacking any plane of symmetry, attenuate narrowing gradually, oracle, ear-shaped lobe, on long, bristle-like appendage, e.g., terminating or on the back of glooms and or lemmas of some grass spikelets. Axil the upper angle between one part of a plant and another, e.g., the stem and a leaf. Axile on an axis of a placenta on the central axis of the ovary. Axillary born in or arising from the axil of a leaf. Axis the main stem of a whole plant or inflorescence. B. Bacular form rod-like, longer than wide. C. F. Cylindrical barber rear-facing point, as in a fish hook. Barbed with barbellate with barbed hairs bark the protective external layer of tissue on the stems and roots of trees and shrubs includes all of the living and non-living tissue external to the cambium. Basal at the base, situated or attached at the base. Base affixed something attached by its base, e.g., an anther attached to the filament. Compare. Dorsi fixed bicipital developing sequentially from the apex towards the base, e.g., of flowers in an inflorescence. Also, moving from leaves to roots, e.g., of molecular signals in plants. Bathiful a specialized leaf that is produced at the base of a plant, usually when the plant is immature, and which serves to anchor the plant to a substrate, especially notable in the fern teratophyllum. Beak a prominent pointed terminal projection, especially of a carpal or fruit. Adjective, beaked berry an indehiscent fruit, with the seeds immersed in the pulp, for instance tomato, biennial plant which completes its life cycle and dies within the second year, usually also forms a basal rosette of leaves the first year and flowers and fruits the second year, bifid forked cut in two for about half its length, see also trifid, bifoliate having two leaflets. Bifusiform fusiform with a pinch in the middle by labiate having two lips, e.g., the form of the petals in many irregular flowers, bilateral arranged on opposite sides, e.g., leaves on a stem, biloculate having two loculi, e.g., in the anthus, binomial making use of names consisting of two words to form the scientific name in a Latin form. For example, where the first is the name of the genus to which the species belongs, and the second is the epithet given to that species to distinguish it from others in the same genus. Binomial nomenclature, the system of nomenclature in which the scientific name of a species is a combination of two names, the first name being the generic name. The second name is referred to botanically as the specific epithet. Note that the two names constitute the species name, not just the second word.
by pinnate twice pinnate, for example of a compound leaf with individual leaflets pinnately divided, by pinnati sect a pinnati sect leaf with deeply dissected segments, by sexual bearing both male and female reproductive organs, usually, flowers with both stamens and carpels, hermaphrodite, monoecious, monocus, see sexual reproduction in plants, biteg mic covered by two integuments, Bivalve having two valves or hinged parts. See also trivalve. Blade the lamina or flattened part of a leaf, excluding the stalk. Bloom a fine white or bluish waxy powder occurring on plant parts, usually stems, leaves and fruits. It is easily removed by rubbing. Bowl the trunk of a tree, usually below the lowest branch. Cf. Canopy. Bract, modified leaf associated with flower or inflorescence, differing in shape, size or color from other leaves. Bracteate possessing bracts. Bracteal small bracts spawn singly or in pairs on the pedicel or calyx. Bracteolet possessing bracteoles bractlet bracteal branchlet a small branch. Brevid deciduous a plant that loses all of its leaves briefly, so that it is leafless for, e.g., about two weeks. Bristle straight stiff hair or upper part of an awn. Brocododromus pinnate leaf venation in which the secondary veins do not terminate at the leaf margin, but are joined in a succession of prominent arcs. Bryophyte informally, a collective term for mosses, hornworts and liverworts. Formerly, these plants are placed in three separate divisions, hornworts, liverworts and mosses. Bulb, thick storage organ, usually underground, consisting of a stem and leaf bases. Bulbella bulb arising from another bulb, bulb or small deciduous bulb or tuber formed in the axil of a leaf or pinna, a means of vegetative propagation. Bulb a bulb arising from another bulb, a bulbul. Belate surface with rounded or globular blisters. Burr loosely, a prickly fruit, a rough or prickly propagula consisting of a seed or fruit and associated floral parts or bracts. Buttress root a root growing from the above ground stem or trunk, and providing support, as in the case of Ficus macrophylla, the Morton Bay fig. Bisoida growth form of a lichen thallus that is wispy, like teased wool.